Welcome back to Tokyo Goo Re Anime Review Special Number One. This one we're reviewing the final chapter of the Tokyo Goo Re manga, Chapter 179, The Mountain Goat Song. And this is not. This is kind of like an epilogue of. It's it's also kind of like a time skip in a way, where it jumps ahead about off years, uh, at least few, three or four years in the future. Where he was like, what happened to all the characters? Well, first we see the CGC. Looks like it's being rebuilt. Yep. And then we see various sort of characters. Yeah, first we see Hyde. I think this is Hyde. Yeah, I think this is. Where, and we learn what kind of happened... Like, between the last two and this one, apparently all the black dragon stuff, that's been completely eliminated. All the poison, the atmosphere that, that was uh, that the black dragon did. Yeah, so the CGC has been officially disbanded. It's now being reformed as the Tokyo Security Committee. And, of course, half the people who worked there were CGC people. And here, here, are the, here are its members. Apparently, it's now been six years uh, between chapters, so a six-year time skip. Those of you curious, though, does Kaneki pop pop up in this chapter? Yes, he does. Mostly, there's very little dialogue. It's mostly explaining what happened to these people, like right afterwards. Okay, let's first start with Akaski Maruru. He's been he's been named the director of the entire agency. His his uh, chief information officer is Tashida Magami. Shu has been basically named uh, the leader of the United Front. His uh, his vice representative is Kachu Baju. And it says the it, the interim siblings have continued to support. They've almost done, like, basically... The United Front is basically a protection thing for the ghouls. And then we see Masura Suzuki... He's serving as bureau director. Kyo Uhura became the chancellor of the TSC Peacekeeper Academy. Basically, the no longer cool investigators are now peacekeepers. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Mugan became a monk. Yep, became a monk. We also see Kyo who's become the vice chancellor. We have also, let's see, Kasama Tushu, who became a teacher at the, the TSC development until he was killed. Take Hakuru, became the vice principal of the academy. He was asked to become, but he turned down. And then he passed away. He's basically dead now. Um, several other characters uh, left, left, left Tokyo and some stayed. Um, but there's a few ones, basically, I want to talk about. We have... Kairu Uri, yeah, those of you seen this guy currently in the series, yeah, he's he's his position is in the in the TSG, TSC, the replacement for the TGC. He's basically the assist, associate special class peacekeeper. Yep, that's his position now. And then we see uh, we see Haru, who is the little sister of the character, was killed during the. Uh, if, if you watch the anime, the guy, I think it was Uru, I, the, the guy looked like he had sharp teeth. Yeah, he got killed. Yeah, this is his little sister. She's out of the coma, and the thing that was in her eye has been officially been removed. Yep. So, she and Uru basically pray at um, her late brother's grave. And we see some people who've died. Um, we see Jojuru, who apparently has got rid of some of his but not all of them. He, let's see, what is his faith? Let's see here. Okay, he says he continued to protect the city of Tokyo, the general, as the dragon general, the leader of the TSC forces. His achievements have become him known and respected to one of the finest peacekeepers there. Basically, yeah, he became a peacekeeper. Yeah, pretty much, yep. So everyone else, his, his squad became basically right-hand people. Let's see. She became a very famous photographer, and she basically lived the rest of her life out in Japan. So, since it's six years in the future, that means she's 30. And 
okay, so if she's 30, why is she still the same height? Seriously. Why in the world does she look like she's the same height? Because at the start of the series, she was 16. In present day, she's supposed to be about 23 years old. She's basically about 29, 30-ish right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks to time skip. Let's see. So I found our organizations. We see that, uh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Mizuki became part of the TS, uh, chose not to become a part of it. Um, left for a rural branch. And we see, um, Hinami, love this character. She became a teacher at the United uh, Front School's Orphanage and asked Ato uh, to come shopping with her. I thought that was quite funny. Yep. And apparently, uh, one of the characters, aside from the main character, had a child. A little baby. <laughs> it's so cute. And we see that uh, Renju looks like he became a father as well during the time skip. Um, let's see. Uda basically says he passed pursuit main hobbies, including thinking of ways to attack Yumi. Yeah, he's one of the other characters in here. Uh, continues doing mass design and silver craft. As long as you is alive, he lived the joint, live a joy in his heart. That's ah hide. Ranging everyone who's dealing with attacks of Yuda and others, he makes time to visit Token Ken's child. I will reveal exactly who the the, the gender child when I get up to it. Uh, we see Toka basically looks like she's playing with her. Yeah, Toka and Ken had a daughter. Yeah, Toka and Kaneki had a daughter. Yep. And here's what Ken Kaneki's been up to. It says, after suppressing a dragon threat, he almost drowned in turbo body fluids, but was dragged out by Otto Kosuma, serving what otherwise was a certain death. He returned to his friends virtually in pieces, spent two weeks after operation sleeping at the moment. He works in collaboration with the TSC and the United Front. So yeah, the guy with the mask here, yeah, that's Hyde. Apparently it looks like he grew some skin back. That's why I think he was last seen. Looks like most of his mouth is gone. But yeah, I think the mask is an acceptable thing for him to have. Better than that piece of cloth he was going to use to cover his face up. Yep. Hi became a uh, elementary school teacher. Yeah. And this little girl, that is... Uh, Ken and Kaneki's daughter, uh, Ken Kaneki and Toka's daughter, uh, th let's see, what did I say what Psycho was up to, let's see if I can find her here, I know, because there she is right there, cute little thing, I'm glad the fact she stayed in Kaneki, so even after she turned against the CGC, okay, here's what Psycho went up to, after being treated for her rose, she remained in the TSC, helping Yuri in the education of, of the Qs, she became something of a mascot, of the chateau when her mother became bedridden with illness she and her brother took care of her until she passed nice of her to do yeah so this was by far a pretty interesting chapter uh nice little epilogue to the series kind of so yeah we kind of unlike some series you don't exactly know exactly what happened during the time skip this one, for most of the characters I'd say in the series, you do get kind of see exactly what happened to them, like Raph the time skip. Excuse me. But otherwise, though, this was a fantastic chapter. And I give this chapter, since this chapter is very nice and a great epilogue to the series, I give this one a 10 out of 10. It's fantastic. Uh, final thoughts on the manga itself? Because this is possibly the second time I've actually done this. For a particular series that just wrapped up not long after I started. Yeah. Um, I only started reading the manga roughly last year. And I got it done pretty quickly. Yeah, I read a lot of it like online. It took me a little while, but eventually I got through. Mm -hmm. And it is something, though, you have this series less longer than the previous series. And, yeah, it lasts longer by having at least 45 more chapters than the previous series, which I did have 134. This one's 139. Uh, th 79 combined, let me think, that is 9 plus 4, that's 13, carry the 1, 3 plus 7, that's 10, 11, 
I think that's roughly like 200 and and this just this is just my guess. Uh, 200 and I think it might be 13 chapters. Could be 300. Yeah, I think it might be 313 chapters. Let me uh, take a look at that just to be sure. And this is for a combined both series. Mm hmm. Yep. 313 chapters combined for both series. And this is not including the Jack one shot that the series had published. Um, otherwise, though, that's really it for this particular view. This was really great chapter. Uh, this is something, though, when it comes to final chapters, is that they could be a mixed bag for some people. Either it could be good or it could be bad for epilogue. This was a fantastic epilogue and great way to wrap up with the series. And apparently, this is... No, I kind of suspected maybe that even if the series wrap up, maybe the writers are going to do a fall off this one. No, he's done with Tokyo Ghoul. After seven years of doing this series... Shu, what's this guy's name? I think I can pull up on my phone here. The writer of the series. Also, I point out that when I read the series in line, they would show Judo um, as the uh, as the guy who you see before you see the actual thing. Okay, the writer is, if I can find him here. It's not here. I know it's shooting something. Shu Ishida. Yeah, that's the name of the guy. And it is kind of odd though to see that. Well, with this series ended, I mean, who knows what the guy's going to do now. I mean, the guy, as far as I know, yeah, this series is the only thing this guy has ever done in his career. Um, other writers I've seen have done other things. Like, look, let's say Kishimoto. He did have several other things, uh, even before and after he did Naruto. Uh, Kish, uh, Ka uh, Ko Kubo, the writer of Bleach, same thing. Oda, same thing. A lot of these other writers I've seen for manga writers, they generally have done stuff before and after they've done their famous series. Not this one. It's just Toko Ghoul for seven years. Yes. Starting the series way back in 2011. Yep. 2011. And having this series collected in a little bit, like two more volumes than the previous one is, but combined... Trades wise, you're basically picking up about, I think it's like 30 volumes. It's not too bad. A 313 chapter manga is actually not too bad either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's pretty much all I got to say. But Tokyo Ghoul Re is a fantastic series, and I do recommend checking out the manga. But I do recommend reading the manga to where it's up to right now. Right now, in the anime, I think they've covered roughly about the first 60 chapters. Uh, read those first, and then see what your reaction is to how the anime handles it. The anime does a pretty be much better job handling how they adapt Tokugou Re than did the original series. The original series is a little bit rushed in places, but not like way over rushed. Here they take their time because after the first couple episodes, the series moves forward smoothly. Mm -hmm. In the case of this series, um, it seemed like for several chapters, it seemed like half the time nothing happened. Um, that's why they know so during the last like. 30 or so, last, let's say, I think it's like last, like, about 20, 30 chapters or so. During the last several chapters since, you know, while we're reviewing this, it just seems like half the time, the series moves, moved at a snail's pace toward the end of the series. And it felt like, though, the series was not progressing forward any way, super form. Mm -hmm. I know when I started viewing the series, uh, I think it was just early this year, I think it was, yeah, early this year. And I had only covered, in the first two parts, I covered the first season and the second season of the anime. Uh, third season, I covered the two OVAs. And the rest of the time, when, when I covered, like, stuff from the manga, the the Google Agree manga, and, of course, the, the light novels, I covered those series of specials. Overall, I covered, 
in when, when it was called Tokyo Re because I changed the Tokyo Re anime when I uh, about three episodes into watching the anime itself, and then later on I changed it to Tokyo Re anime episode whatever. I decided to do this one as the special because I did specials for the previous one, so why not do it for this one? Mm -hmm. Yep, there's that. Not much else to say, but the next time you expect uh, I expect to do a review of this particular franchise, it's either going to be the last light novel or a new episode of the anime, which is coming back in October. Yep. I still have to wait now roughly three months for the series to come back. As for when in October it's come back, no idea. I do know this for a fact. In exactly 20 days, Attack on Titan is coming back. Those reviews will be coming up soon. Yeah, that'll be my next review when it comes to Attack on Titan is, of course, when the series starts up again. And I'm like, I think about a week later, then about, I think it's like one week after the anime, uh, the first episode, I think about a week or, I think it's about two weeks after the first episode of the anime comes back, I just want to review the next OVA. Alright, so that's it for this particular review. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews. I have Comic Wars, um, I got to read some trades, but I got some new trades in today from the library. So expect to see reviews for those next several days. Um, as for in the case of manga reviews, I have currently no other ones planned. Yeah, this was the only one I had planned to go, but, uh, in the case of anime reviews, probably you're probably going to see one for Black Clover whenever I get a chance to finish up uh, the first 19 episodes, okay? But until you see you on our next review, bye.